Hi, I'm Rodney Miller. And I'm Jan Carl. Thanks for choosing to watch this clip from our Small Town Big Deal YouTube channel. For full episodes, go to our website, smalltownbigdeal.com. And subscribe to our YouTube channel to find all kinds of great clips. Now enjoy the video. You know, Jan, here in America, we love our hometown heroes. We do, and here in Harlem, Georgia, which is about oh, two and a half hours east of Atlanta, their hometown hero is very funny and famous worldwide. Okay. And you know, Jan, he's part of a famous duo. Okay, duo, yes. Okay, Rodney. <laughs> it's Oliver Hardy of Laurel and Hardy. Oliver Hardy was a larger-than-life character who was a pioneer of slapstick comedies in the golden days of Hollywood. Born in 1892, he was the youngest of five children. By his early 20s, he was starring in silent films being shot in the Southeast. By 1926, Oliver had made his way to California and was eventually hired to be in a movie with Stan Laurel. The pair quickly became an immensely popular comedy duo known as Laurel and Hardy, starring in 106 films together. And every year, fans from all over the world come to Harlem, Georgia, a small town of only 2,600 people to celebrate the life and talent of the man who put a smile on so many faces. When we started this in 1989, we just wanted to get some, start bringing our town in and get some business into it. Oliver Hardy was born here in 1892. And thus, the Oliver Hardy Festival was born, bringing in over 35,000 visitors every year. And it's time to Hardy Hardy! Rodney and I wanted a little more information about Laurel and Hardy, so we found a couple of experts. What do you think <laughs> made Laurel and Hardy a great well, team? It was the, the teamwork between Stan and Ollie. They were friends until the end. Okay, they are so adorable. Do men like being called adorable? And th the very best part about it is you have to remember that we were together for over 35 years. As a recognized we team. Made That's longer than most marriages these days, yes. right? Yes. So, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Harlem is home to the one and only Laurel and Hardy Museum, housing tons of memorabilia, pictures, and even a theater that shows nearly every movie the comedy duo ever made. Why is there such a love for Laurel and Hardy, and especially Oliver Hardy? Because they're very family-oriented. Family you can show the movies to anybody. You can show them to your grandmother, your mother, little kids. They have nothing in them. They're not violent. They're just silly, slapstick comedy. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, do you have hats off over there? Yes, we do. Would you like to see it? I would love to see I'll it. I'll have to go to the back and get All it, right. but excuse me, there's a movie going on All right now, no so worries. you'll just I'll have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> Does that happen often? Often. That is... Did you see Ollie run through here? Did you see that? Did you see Ollie run through here? Where you have kids and they love coming and seeing all the arts and crafts and getting slushies and um, seeing all the different vendors that are here. They're seeing clothes. Um, it's just a great, it's a great event every year. You know, the city of Harlem has made this a true family-friendly event, and there is tons of things for everyone to do. I know Jan loves parade, so I pulled Dennis and Dale aside, oh, excuse me, Laurel and Hardy, aside and asked for a favor. We're in the parade sitting right in front of the stars. Look at that little boy. Aww. Isn't he cute? Hi. <laughs> the parade is everything a small town parade should be and more. Kids and parents lie in the streets to watch the high school bands, floats, classic cars, and local heroes pass by. That was a blast. It was so much fun being in the parade. We want to thank the city of Harlem for the opportunity. I just wish Rodney had remembered the candy. We weren't very popular with the kids. No. Just a sidebar, we had candy, but Jan ate it all before the parade started. That is not true. <laughs> Jan and I decided to walk around the festival, and one thing I've learned about festivals over the years, you never know what you're going to oh see. Gosh, what's his name? Oh, this is Thurman. Oh what is it? Thurman. Yes, it was a skunk with a very sophisticated name, Thurman. Does Thurman yeah. like to be petted or not so much? Uh, not so much. Not so much. <laughs> you know, on second thought, that might be pretty handy. If you could train it, you know, like point and shoot. Hey, Jan. <laughs> Rodney ran into local country star Ray Fulcher of the band County Line, 
who grew up coming to the festival as a kid. It's cool to come back. You know, I was a little kid, you know, a little tot running around here. And... Yeah, and that's a really cool song you just sung about, Harlem, and you wrote that. Yeah, I did. I was just thinking, like, you know, how, how every small town's kind of the same, but everybody's got their own little story that makes it different. There's something smelly, but good smells. I mean, it's coming from the food vendors, and I am starving. Jan and I couldn't decide what to eat until a red velvet funnel cake. What? Red velvet. We gotta have one of these. Oh my. That's that non fat oil, too, I'm yeah. pretty sure. Mm -hmm. That's good. Sweet ending to a great day. That's for sure. Thanks for watching this clip from Small Town Big Deal. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Also, click the like button. To see full episodes, go to www.smalltownbigdeal.com.